The fact that there are going to be people out here that are going to move the goalpost or feel or it may seem or look like they're grasping at straws as best as they can to uh, maintain in their minds, at least the innocence of Diddy. Uh, mm -hmm. When again, there's a lot of stuff literally stacked up against him right now. And in my mind, I'm like, how the hell is he going to be able to change everyone's minds, even mm -hmm. if he was found not guilty? Um, I just feel like what's done is done. And that evidence sure doesn't show Rico. It doesn't show, you know, trafficking of any kind or anything of that sort. Um, but it does show that there is really a violent streak in this man. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm wondering how, if anything, would he be able to walk out free as a bird? Huh. Well, this you know, this goes to that, um, that, that issue that you, you, you can't, you can't come back from an accusation like this, you know, uh, I'm, I, I personally don't, I don't have strong suspicions of a wrongful accusation here. Uh, there's just, you know, too much that's already been out there too much that's been corroborated, et cetera, um, to, to, to really lead me to think that, uh, but, Hypothetically, if that were the case, uh, yeah, I mean, you've asked the million dollar question, how do you ever come back from something like that? You, you really can't. An accusation like this is going to be life changing, period, regardless mm -hmm. of the outcome, uh, because even if he had a, a perfectly fair trial and uh, all the evidence was presented and the jury ultimately concluded, you know what, I think all of this was consensual. We're not going to convict him. He's acquitted. There's always going to be people that disagree with that, that disagree with that conclusion, that have a different read on the evidence, or that didn't follow the case and just remember this stuff that we're hearing in, in this type of time frame, forming their opinions based on that. Uh, so there is no recovery. And that's part of what is going to explain what we see from Diddy's team uh, as the case goes forward, particularly uh, in whatever window they may have until if a protective uh, a gag order gets entered to, to kind of shut them down uh because yeah they have very limited ability and opportunity to try to rehabilitate him uh you know but before that before that whole process gets underway so i fully expect yeah they're going to be doing a full court press right now as much as they can as hard as they can to try to shift the public uh, opinion before they get shut down from being able to do that and now we're just stuck with the court process but i, I guess my my question is uh, the damage is already done in mm -hmm. a way i mean yes there's mm -hmm. going to be some people out here saying you know like i said Watch, there's going to be free Diddy t-shirts out here very, very soon. And people wearing them yeah. with pride. Watch them all with their chest out like this. Like, say some, right? We already know it's going to happen. We already mm -hmm. know that's going to happen. There was already free R. Kelly t-shirts back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I keep wondering, the court of mm -hmm. public opinion has, has already heard enough. Mm -hmm. We've already heard enough to come up with our own decisions and our, our own thoughts, our own verdict in a way, our mm -hmm. own individual verdict. So I, I, mm -hmm. I keep wondering, like, how are they going to be able to turn this around when everything's done? Like the, mm -hmm. the evidence has been out here or not all of it. Let's be real. There's mm -hmm. terabytes of evidence, allegedly, potentially terabytes of evidence. Let's not forget the freak off parties, the multiple hidden cameras, the uh, videos that are being shopped around right now, allegedly that are depicting big time celebrities in there in these particular salacious acts as well. So we haven't even seen those things yet, but those mm -hmm. things do exist. So mm -hmm. in my mind, I go, how, how would he be able to, you know, turn this mm -hmm. around uh, successfully so that if he is exonerated, which I doubt will ever happen, mm -hmm. he'll be able to walk out with his head held high and not be bombarded with tomatoes. I just feel like yeah. it's coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that uh, I, I would be shocked, frankly, if his defense strategy is really anything other than going after going after the accusers, um, arguing that these were consensual consensual acts, uh, that the accusations are. Um, you know, shakedowns, essentially, that these are are people trying to get payoffs, you know, et cetera. Um, 
that's really going to be if there is in fact a lot of electronic a lot of digital evidence that is documenting what took place uh very unlikely you know he's going to be able to to keep all that out to keep it out of trial to to get it excluded um and as soon as that comes out you know what what can he do with it his only option is really to try to convince you you're not seeing what you think you're seeing um so to try to to try to spin that into something else, uh, and, and to me that's just the obvious course that that I would expect him to take here uh, to say, oh yeah, everybody knew, you know, everybody knew the score, and everybody he's going to try to turn some of these uh, some of these accusations against him. He's going to try to flip the script and and make them benefit him. Uh, the fact that this was an open secret, everybody knew, all these celebrities were involved and stuff like, would they do that if they thought, you know, if anybody had any reason to think this was coercive or anything other than completely consensual and so forth? He's right. going to try to spin it. Um, so that's that's how I expect his strategy to unfold going forward. Um, mm. and we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.